Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 2 where we are replaying this mission because I fired on the general's mech thinking that we were following our orders and then checked our objectives and discovered that we are disobeying orders which I think means we wouldn't run into the two ravens and the atlas at the end. So let's just go on in and we've got our two ravens that are going to pop out up here. So let's get our weapon groups set up. There we go. Select our LRMs. I went too far. Excellent. Go to two kilometers. We've got ravens that are going to be out over this direction. There they are. So they're off over here. I'm not sure exactly where. We are unable to target them due to reflective strips in the trees. But I'm just going to take a few pot shots. Maybe we get lucky. Probably not. <laughs> but you never know. Okay. Here's the raven one. Or a raven. Okay, legged him. Fantastic. He actually survived that. I am shocked. And that? Oh my. There we go. Excellent. Now there's one raven left. And we are going to take him out as soon as we can. There he is. Come here, raven. Oh, I was expecting him to charge forth. There we go. Excellent. So let's close in on this atlas then. And I would like to have everybody engage at will. Actually, no. I don't want people to engage at will. I want our star to only attack the atlas. And let's have our LRMs selected. And as soon as we can, I want to eliminate this atlas. Okay, some of those were lost to the tree, unfortunately. But I'm going to go ahead and take cover behind this tree. And we'll let the atlas close in a bit while our LRMs recycle. Oh my, I think he was shooting us through the tree successfully there. Okay. No, don't change to that, Atlas. What are you doing? And I would really much prefer it if that Gauss rifle was disabled. Which I think it now has been. Excellent. Okay, so at this point, we get up there, we inspect the Hatamoto Chi, and then we get the offer from the general in question to return to our dropship. We get orders verbally to kill him, but our objective screen tells us not to. Now, there is a raven up here that we'll need to take out, but we'll, we're not quite close enough to it yet. It'll be right up here as soon as the pathetic draw distance is dealt with. Oh, uh, come on. It seems to be a very variable draw distance as well. There's the raven. Excellent. Okay, the raven is uh, struggling a bit. I think we are out of range of our... Yep. Raven is legged. There we go. Okay, so there's an atlas on the other side there. There's a couple of ravens in the woods, but I think as long as we take this guy's deal, they aren't going to attack. Okay. Okay, so we need to return to dropship. Are these ravens going to attack us if we don't if we take his deal? It kind of looks like they're not. So we're free to just leave. Yeah. 
they're all just kind of chilling. Okay, so if we leave, then we have ignored orders. Which is strange, because there's no actual dialogue to tell you, no, you should ignore this order. The objective just changes, and there's no verbal indication that we should be following what the Draconis General, who has been our enemy this whole time, is saying. That's a little weird, and I did not expect that last time, so I was just like, oh, okay, we have our orders, we're killing the General. But no, we're not killing the General, we're just leaving. Okay. And off we go. Come on. We're almost there. This thing is not very speedy. <laughs> it is very, very potent, though. Assuming we don't get crits and have ammo explosions, this is a very potent build. I like it a lot. Very flexible as well. The main issue is it's just so slow. And here we are. So is this the end of the mission? You are a force, As am I. I will now transmit the information. Mission successful. Okay, he's giving us the information. I guess that's fine. Well, let's uh let's go ahead and see how that pans out, I guess. We've now disobeyed direct orders, but we got our objective. The orders were to not get information, which is weird. So I guess we'll see how this all plays out. And it looks like the answer is... By sparing General Rentoshi, we found that the mechs used in the raid were lost in a failed attack on the smoke jaguar planet of Jeanette, in which the jaguars kept the mechs as a Sorla. However, by defying Star Captain Becker, you committed an affront to his honor. He has called for a trial of grievance. Of course he has. So, we're going up against the Jaguars, then. General Rentoshi's information leads us to believe that the smoke Jaguars are behind the theft of our genetic material. Yep, I, I got that. The warrior must remember that although Carnage is his calling, he must also use judgment. This is the way of Clan Ghost Bear. We must temper fury with cunning. By ordering you to kill the only man who held the secret to the return of our legacy, Becker committed an act of treason against our clan. Your decision was correct, but you have defied your commander's orders, and now must defend your judgment in a trial of grievance. Okay, so let's see what that entails. You will now enter the Circle of Equals to defend your action against Star Captain Edwin Becker. Destroy your commander. None will break the circle. Okay, so what is our intel here? Star Captain Becker, do not let your ego stand in the way of your mission! But that Savastri mercenary defied a direct order. I will not tolerate disrespect. Proceed on to Jeanette immediately. I mean it, Becker! No chance. Over and out. That was some truly awful voice acting. I love it. Okay, let's see what our details are. By defying your commander, you've affronted his honor. Although you are in the right, you must now face him and defend your action. The trial of grievance ritualizes disputes between individuals, as unapproved brawling does not foster clan unity. Two individuals with a dispute must petition the clan council, who judge the trial and ensure that combat etiquette is observed. Combat takes place in the circle of equals. None but the combatants may enter the circle, and leaving before the contest is ended is a shameful defeat. When a dispute arises in battle far from the clan council, a circle of equals can be called immediately. Now you must fight to justify your defiance. Had you followed your superior's orders, the information about the mechs would have been lost with the Draconis warrior's corpses. But if you lose this trial, you will be disgraced, and your superior will be vindicated. So would we have failed that mission if we had killed the general, or would we... I think we would have failed. I don't think we had a choice there. Okay. Well, we can't bring any star mates, we can't change our mech, so we've got our dire wolf against his Kodiak. I do want to check real quick here. Oh, we can't actually even look at the others, I guess. It's a little unfortunate. I'd like to see what, si what sort of armament the Kodiak had, but it looks like that is not to be the case. So the question is, will he immediately start shooting at us? And I think he probably will. Um, 
I'm going to be trying to set up weapon groups for the first 10 seconds or so, and that's going to be a bit of an advantage for him. Because my, my mech design is not effective if we're doing alpha strikes only. I need to be able to differentiate between my weapons. Okay. Let's see if he starts shooting right away. If it's a super flat mesa... Okay, it is. This is going to be fun. Okay. Come on, let me do this. Okay. And there he is. Excellent. Open fire. And time to start throwing some PPCs at him. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it, you jerk. Time to get some LRMs in there. More PPCs. Get out of here, Becker. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Rip Becker. <laughs> I think that was a lucky PPC crit, but I don't know that for sure. I was going to close in and finish him off with my machine guns and small pulse lasers, but that wasn't necessary. He just went down to some PPC hits. Okay, we're docking back up to our jump ship here. We fought valiantly to defend our honor and our actions. Our commander is disgraced in death. Your victory will be noted on your codex and will be remembered when you seek your blood name. I don't think we're going to be able to seek a blood name, are we? I think we have to do every mission without any failures. I don't know that for sure. I have been appointed the new star captain of the 72nd Assault. In light of what's just happened here, I must tell you I will not accept insubordination. Got that, Hotshot? Eh, we'll see about that, Captain Fitzsimmons. <laughs> our next destination is Jeanette, within Smoke Jaguar territory. The Smoke Jaguars are ancient enemies of our clan. Among all our forces, they would rejoice most in dishonoring us by stealing our heritage. We have to use all of the cunning of the Ghost Bear to find the stinking Jaguars responsible for our loss. Clan Smoke Jaguar was severely weakened in the attack on Takayad. Frequent skirmishes with the Draconis Combine and with Clan Novacat has hindered their chances to rebuild. Their clan's weakness has left the, the Smoke Jaguar warriors frustrated and dangerous. The Smoke Jaguars may have taken our genetic heritage in order to forestall our plans in the Inner Sphere until they're in a more powerful position to re-enter the race for Terra. Whatever their reason, they will pay dearly for this affront to our honor. Okay. So we are now under Captain Fitzsimmons. Star Presumably Star Captain Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Um, let's see. So we need to inspect all structures near Navpoint Alpha. Okay, that's exciting. Search for the Draconis mechs which attacked Ardaz. If you find them, we will have proof that the Smoke Jaguars have stolen our genetic material. This also explains the presence of a clan mech being used in a supposedly Draconis raid. Inspect all structures near Navpoint Alpha. Okay, so what's our intel? Search the loading base of the stolen Draconis mechs. That, uh... That, w that was informative. Do we have any more details? Jeanette was taken by the Smoke Jaguars in 3050 during the third wave of the invasion of the Inner Sphere. Comstar... T wow. Words. Comstar troops, who were supposed to be neutral observers, attacked, and Clan Smoke Jaguar annihilated them. This is yet another example of the treachery and corruption of those who remained in the Inner Sphere rather than leave with Alexander Kerensky. Once we recovered the genetic... Wow. Pronunciation is apparently hard, too. Once we recover the genetic material of our forebears, we can redirect our efforts toward the destiny of the Inner Sphere. Since the mechs were lost in a Draconis Combine raid on Jeanette, they may still be here. You may be nearing the end of your quest, mech warrior. A reconnaissance team made up of others in your trinary will search different areas of the planet while you investigate a landing base. Okay. Let's take a look at some buildings. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I could discover that my button to mute my microphone skips cutscenes. That's interesting to know. <laughs> okay, so 
we do see some enemies. Let me get my weapon group set up here. There we go. We see a Jaguar Horned Owl. Oh, and he's actually on his way in. Well, let's go ahead and do some LRM shots. That did a lot of damage to him, actually. He is almost dead already. One more shot. Yep. Okay, so that's another Horned Owl there. I kind of don't want to waste LRMs on him. That was a decently solid hit. Ooh, that was a great hit right there. I like that a lot. Okay. Those machine guns are really effective in this game. It's kind of insane. Okay, so where is Nav Alpha? That is Nav Alpha? Gotcha. So where are our structures up here? Oh. There's a Stone Rhino here. We are definitely using LRMs on the Stone Rhino. Um, I think he's behind that building, actually. Come on, LRMs. Come on. We have to return fire. Okay. We're getting up there nicely. Did some good, solid damage to him. And we are now in range to finish him off. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we've also got a pair of horned owls over here. Let's utilize LRMs on this one. And see if we can't take him out. Okay. We uh, did take him out. That's a Hellbringer. Hellbringer should die relatively swiftly. Oh my, we took a lot of damage there, though. Okay. Yeah, uh, go go attack this incubus up here. We all we have a pair of incubi, in fact. But we took a lot of damage there. We took a lot of damage. Can we take him out from here? I think we can. Yeah, this is fine. Get out of here. Nice. Okay, now for this one. Get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and stop there for a second while our heat goes down and then round the building and finish off this incubus. Or not. We'll do the same thing again. Drop heat, come around the corner of the building and see if we can't finish him off. Oh, he's up over here. That's fine. Can we finish him off now? We should be able to. He's got to be really close to dead. There we go. Okay. So, let's go ahead and inspect these facilities. There are computers in that one. I doubt there's mechs in a landing tower. Nope, there are computers. Storage tank is empty. Storage tank is empty. Storage facility... Okay, so we just dust off at Nav Beta. Okay, let's go. So we did not find the mechs here, but we did destroy... Oh, that's not what I wanted. But we did destroy all defending mechs, so we just need to dust off at Nav Beta, and off we go. Presuming there isn't any others. So we did have ourselves a bit of an ammo explosion this time. 
but it ended up being okay. We still do a respectable amount of damage with our small pulse lasers. Like, it's kind of insane, actually. Pretty fun to watch the pulse lasers do their work. Not so much fun to watch the heat go up. But we were able to take out the big threats before we had any issues. So that's absolutely perfect. Let's get out of here. We've got ourselves a dust off in 150 meters. So, you know, right about now. Beta reached mission successful. There we go. Well, that was relatively easy. In fact, I'm finding a lot of these to be relatively easy. But that's okay. It might just be that my, my build is a particularly effective one in terms of the damage output, and it is. It does a lot of damage. So the question then becomes, where do the Draconis ha or where do the Draconis Combine have those mechs? Whoa, no, 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 go away. <laughs> the Draconis mechs are no longer on Jeanette. The reconnaissance team discovered a shipping log which indicated that the captured mechs have been shipped off planet to Garstet to be refitted with clan armaments. Okay, so let's check our intelligence that we got. Okay, that was informative intelligence. By refitting the Draconis mechs, the sm Wow. What is it with words today? I'm, I'm just... I'm struggling. I'm sorry, guys. I'm struggling. By refitting the Draconis mechs, the Smoke Jaguars have shown their desperation. Like everything else in the Inner Sphere, their mechs and armaments are of much lower quality than those of Clan Origin. For the Smoke Jaguars to use them shows that they're seriously weakened. You will now board the jump ship Bear's Legacy to travel to Garstet. Excellent. So what is our next mission going to be? Defend our jump ship and destroy- Jump ship? Okay, so we're going to be defending our jump ship. That is something for the next episode. I don't get into why that startled me here in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, here in, by here in a moment, it's here in a moment for me, tomorrow for you, if you're watching this on the day, day it goes live. Otherwise, just in the next video. See you all then.